Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to show you how to use these bad boys, the TheraBands. Um, this is great for warming up your arm if you're a pitcher or a thrower, a volleyball player, anybody that uses their arm, swimmers especially too, as well as just strengthening in general, strengthening your rotator cuff. So stay tuned! keep it simple today just a few exercises to help you guys warm up before you play the first one is row so just wrap your bands around something like a gate or the fence at school if you're a baseball player and you're just pulling straight back and if you want to just warm up your single arm just do it one-handed That's really good to get the shoulder blade kind of activated before you start doing uh, more rotator cuff stuff. And a lot of the times if you just have like a single piece of this stuff, you can tie a handle in it, just kind of wrap it like this and then knot it. Or you can tie the end to the gate, so that way you only have one piece of band instead of two. Next you can do some shoulder extension, so just straighten your arms down and just pull straight back. Either with both arms or just the one. And you can do these until it feels like you're getting a little bit of a burn or just, you know, keep it safe, maybe 20 reps. Next, we're gonna start with the rotator cuff. We're just gonna do some shoulder strengthening in neutral position, which just means next to the body. So start first with external rotation. So elbows next to the body, and you're pulling straight out. the elbow bent at a 90 degree angle. You can turn to the side as well. And I'm just holding the other end of the band to keep it from moving. And you will feel a burn with these especially. Next go ahead and turn around and this time you're going to hold the band here and you're pulling with your throwing arm to do internal rotation. So just in towards the belly. And once you do a few of those in neutral right next to the body, then go ahead and bring your shoulder up at a 90 degree angle. Again, I'm holding the other side so it doesn't move. And this time you're going to be pulling straight back. So this is what we call the cocking position before you throw. So when you're throwing, you cock back and go forward. So this is warming up that part of the motion. So again, until it burns or about 20 reps. And you don't want to do this one too fast. You want to get the muscle nice and warm. So I do feel it there. Then I'm going to turn my body around, facing away from you guys. Again, holding the band in my other hand. Elbow up at a 90 degree, and this time you're pulling downward. So this is internal rotation. And just one thing, just don't let the band pull you back really quick. So you want to go kind of slow and controlled. Alright, so those are good. You can stop there. If you want a couple extra bonus exercises, I like to do straight forward with the band as well. So I'm going to turn away from you guys. And you're just going to keep pulling up. You can also take this opportunity to stretch your shoulder a little bit. So I'm just going to hold it upward, kind of back, hold it back like this. And then you can also hold it out to stretch this way. Holding each of those for about 20 seconds and you kind of just let the band do the work. 
You can also do that with the external rotation position where your elbows out, elbows down and arms out. So just let the band do the work, just let it pull back. And then also up at the 90 degree angle again. So raise your arm up and just let it pull back. And it's a little hard to stretch down on your own. So what I like to do is rest my elbow against the fence or against the gate. So let's move you up away. So rest your elbow against something. Ideally, you want it about shoulder height. And you're just gonna lightly press it downward this way. So you're getting internal rotation of the shoulder stretch. And all these stretches you can hold for about 20 seconds until you feel like you're good and stretched out. <laughs> and when I played volleyball in college, of course I like to do the typical arm circles and stuff like that. So you're welcome to do that one arm or a double arm. And what this does, it helps prevent you from getting tendonitis in the shoulder. When you get tendonitis, all that means is that the rotator cuff muscles get tight and then they get problematic from you using your shoulder so much in your sport. So you got to keep it stretched out. And then switch directions. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my ways to help you guys warm up before you play a game or practice for any sport and it's also a great warm-up for the rotator cuff before you exercise. So if you enjoyed this video please share it with others and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't so you won't miss out on any future videos. So you can push the button down below if you'd like or up top here push my little icon to subscribe and that'd be great. So if you have any video requests leave them down below in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!